Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today, I want to talk about something I haven't really even mentioned on this channel once, and uh, it helps my aim. I get a lot of people hit me in the comments about the aim. Yo, nice shots, or yo, you have Cronus, blah, 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 laser beam. There's one thing I use that definitely helps me, all right? I definitely have something I use. That's this guy right here. This is a control freak. Um, I just took it off the controller. I use uh, high rise. It's a company, it's called Control Freak. I'm trying to get that to focus up. I don't know how well it will, but this is what they look like. It's a joystick extender, and it quite literally just pops onto uh, your joystick. So essentially what I wanna to do today, I wanna to give you before and after comparisons of Control Freaks, show you if they actually work or not. A lot of people um, don't think they actually work. I only use one on the right stick. The left stick never has one. This stick usually does. What it does is it elevates your thumb. So when you go to move, basically this amount of movement on a joystick is more drastic. I can't explain that. The leverage makes it to where you have to move your thumb more for it to be a faster turn, which gives you more precision. If I wanna like do fine little movements, it's way more tedious with this than if I were to have that control freak. Uh, so we're going to do a few spray patterns. We're gonna shoot a few dummies without the control freak and then we're going to switch to the control freak. See if it really makes that big of a difference um, with and without it. Um, this is going to be without the control freak. That's pretty solid. We'll put another spray beside it. We're looking for consistency here. Um, and we'll use another gun as well. This is a pretty accurate gun as it is. All right, so those are both Control Freak, and uh, I think I have the AMR9 as well here. And this one has a lot of recoil. Let's see what we can do here. All right, that's the first one. And we'll do the second one, like, above it. All right, those are our four sprays right there without Control Freak. Uh, we are going to go ahead and shoot some targets here. I can definitely tell like flicking the targets is definitely like I'm overcompensating it. Um, which usually I'm pretty good about getting on target. I always talk about sensitivity and not having to overlook uh, targets, but I'm definitely overlooking in terms of like trying to be quick with it. So that's definitely a negative right there without having the control freak. Tracing targets is really hard for me uh, without, because you don't have that precision. I feel like I'm really not hitting these shots as well. Let's see, I want the target to move. I want to have to trace it. Yeah, a little bit off there. Definitely off on the second set of shots right there. 100%. Uh, now we're going to pop this thing back on. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. All right, we got a control freak back on. Fitted. And we're going to go ahead and spray test here at the wall. That's spray test one. Here's your comparison there. And we'll go ahead and do number two right here. So here's with, there's without. They're definitely wider than these two. These two are very tight. Uh, we'll do two AMR9 sprays as well. Definitely started off a little more rough. You can see these are more abrupt or tight at the beginning, uh, but I'd say that's tighter at the end. Bring that in as well. So here's comparison. This is with, obviously these two are uh, without. Here's shooting and spraying with control freak on the actual controller. You can see my left to right movements are a little more precise and by little, I mean, I'm not overlooking my targets at all if anything i'd underlook which i like because i can push a little bit further to get there rather than have to uh, pull back it can be one fluent motion tracing feels incredible uh with the control freak switching to the amr9 something with a little more bounce even with the follow-through hitting these shots uh really not that big of an issue on all three targets this is a gun that has a lot of recoil um and we were just having a really hard time hitting these shots uh, with this without now that we have with, we're able to get all three targets with a single clip, something we could not do without the control freak. And I'm able to absolutely go through and melt targets relatively quick compared to without. It's just a different level of precision that you really can't match um, 
microwave through your controller player it's definitely um extremely beneficial i know a ton of players that actually use these a ton of like big competitive players that use these and content creators as well um i highly recommend using them they feel weird at first don't get me wrong the first time i used control freaks i was not a fan like i was like this is chop this isn't gonna work i realistically i gave it like two three days um, popped them on got used to them and they were game changing bro i mean these things really changed my game entirely i highly recommend it i feel like for what you pay i think it's 15 bucks you can go to like i think they even have them at like walmart now or target uh, you can get them at a GameStop. You can order them on Amazon. They're like 15 bucks. You get two of them. And if you only use the right stick, because there's no need in getting that on the left stick. You don't need the, the left stick raised because that's your movement stick. Uh, the right stick, though, for aiming, that's what you need. So if you pay the $15, you get two of them. Those will last you so long, bro. Two control freaks, I'm telling you, will last you three years, easily four years. Like the, the durability of the grip, I've never had a control freak peel off. The testimony to that is, uh, this is a control freak I have had for, I can't even remember how long. Uh, if it'll focus, you can kind of see here, that's a Black Ops 4 logo. This is the control freak I got for the release of Black Ops 4, and it still is intact. Like, I still use it on a controller. Uh, this one was from Modern Warfare 2019, and it is still intact. It's still, this is the scuff joystick I, i'm trying to get the all right look there's the scuff joystick you can see how worn that is you can see the sides are chipped that's on my movement stick right there you can see how worn that looks and then you look over here at this control freak this is from modern warfare 2019 and it still has all that grip it has grip all over the edges i mean all angles of this joystick has full grip i can't stress the quality of this product enough it works try to intrude so ultimately do control freaks make you a better cod player absolutely try it out gang if you're new to the channel enjoy the content sub button crush the like button catch you tomorrow for another banger let's get it